Alright, what's up? Welcome back to another Amazon Online Arbitrage product resourcing video. So for today, the seed listing that I chose uh, to pull sellers from was this ointment thing that you can get from Sam's Club. I, um, I didn't pull much sellers from here. I didn't pull all the sellers from here because there's some that had like 15, 20 items in their store. So it wouldn't have been worth it. But I pulled 14 sellers from this list and, um, I am going to go ahead and start my keep a search from scratch because because I know there's some new new people who have come over to my video and whenever I put in these filters they have no clue of what's going on so if you if you watch these videos you can go ahead you might you go ahead and skip over to whenever I look through the products but for those that are new I'm going to go over all the filters and why I'm putting them in. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the seller filter and paste all the sellers that I pulled, all the 14 sellers that I pulled from the listing. So me putting in this, I'm putting in all the seller IDs that I pulled from the listing. So now everything that's in here, all the sellers, all their products are in my search right now. So now it shows 1,455 um, products that are in my list so I'm gonna narrow everything down because going through 1,455 products is gonna take forever and some of them most likely are unprofitable so the next thing I'm gonna go through is the sales rank so what I like to do is for the 90 90 days percent drop I like to put in a negative number because that shows that if the sales rank is dropping that means it's starting to sell now so in the past 90 days it dropped negative 100 percent from the sales rank that's the uh, minimum and then the maximum I'm gonna put uh, let's put 10 alright so as you can see now from I think it was like 14 or 1300 products now it's down to 706 so next let's see for 30 day average let's, let's put in some other stuff here so 30 day average sales rank let's put 10,000 to 200,000 All right, so now for having the, these, both of these filters in, I want to see products that have dropped 100%, a sales rank to 10% in 90 days, and they have to be, the 30-day average sales rank has to be from 10,000 to 200,000. So having these two filters in, it dropped from 1,400 to 547. That's still a pretty good bit, so I'm going to put in some more filters to lower it down. Um, let's put, so let's see, where's the live count offer? So for kind of retrieve live offers, so this is the, the live offers that are on the listing that are FBA. So I'm going to put a minimum of seven. So now I dropped from, dropped down to 246. That's still a, good, a pretty good bit. Another thing that I like to mess with is the sales ring drops. So sales ring drops are an indication that it may have sold. Sales ring jobs doesn't always indicate like a sell, but most of the time it indicates that it's sold. So for the minimum for sales ring drop in the past 30 days, I'm going to put 40. Okay, it dropped from 2, two something to 180. That, look, that looks pretty good. I'm not going to mess with price or anything. So this is, these are all the filters that I'm going to roll with. So the two sales rank filters here. Um, live offers is edited all the sellers that are in here physical products and also I like to put no vari no variations I don't really like looking through products with variations because you can spend hours on one listing but I mean if you want to put in the time to do it you may you may be able to find something I also like to have no Amazon offer exist too click here and I think that's everything so it shows 180 products that I can look through so I'm gonna go ahead and find products and start a timer for 30 minutes and see how much I can get through within 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Got some Lego stuff, these are roses. I think it's past Valentine's Day, so that may be a seasonal item to, to get for Valentine's Day maybe. I don't know, some people play with Legos like all season, so. Uh, 
the timer is started. So what I like to do to get to get through products quick is I like to look for the products first before doing my analysis on the Kiba chart. But I'm looking at this. This pro this price has not moved at all. So I'm guessing that someone is dominating the buy box. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the buy box statistics and see if somebody is. So somebody wins it 48% of the time. His name is Migrate Goods. I don't think it's the brand owner. Brand owner is Spray and Wash. But with somebody winning at 48% of the time, I probably would not hop on this listing. I'm going to go ahead and look for it anyways to see if I can find it. I don't think this is even going to be possible. I got to get two of these for, for 132. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. I'm going to put in a price because so I can remind myself that I already looked at it. We got Kirkley. You probably can get this from uh, Costco. It, it looks like it's one bottle. This person has over a thousand units. But let's take a look at the buy box statistics and see if he dominates it or not. He actually does not dominate it. Somebody else does though. 59%? Where's he at? I actually do not see him on the live offers right now. Oh, there he is. He's 1449. Only 18. I wonder why he dominates this. He's probably running low on stock. Probably why he has 18. Um, I'll look it up anyways. Um, This is probably something I would not get on. But um, I'll look at it anyways. See if it's cheaper anywhere. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move on from this one. All right, we got some Propel sh packets. It's pack of five. Is your 50 count, 10 count? What? 50 count, 10 count. Oh, there's a. Each packet has 10, and there's five. Okay, what flavor is this? Grape. At uh, Walmart's two ninety eight times that by five. That's probably gonna be like eleven dollars. I got my calculator out. All right, I was really wrong. It is fourteen ninety. So fourteen ninety. That is all the profit there. Let's see if the buy box moves around. So FBA sellers are coming in at twenty four seventy. The lowest right now is twenty three forty five. He has nine. The next one is 23.45, he has 10. All these sellers are all priced at the same amount. The next one up is $24. If he sells out, the next one is $25.99. Looking at the history now for the past month, some people are winning it at 27, but and then FBI, FBA price dropped. Twenty-seven ninety nine. His name is Two Deals. Is he still on the listing? Okay, he is still on the listing. He lowered his price from twenty-seven to twenty-six forty-nine. Let's see how much this thing moves. So it was 285 in the past 30 days. Uh, this person here, oh, he's not even FBA. So this person wins the buy box 66% of the time, but since he's FBM, I'm not really gonna be competing with him. But if you look at all the FBA offers, it it is spread out pretty decently, like even. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna go back to offers and see how well other sellers are getting sales from this, like how well the product is being spread out sales wise so here this guy sold 77 at 2345 his lifetime sales is 911 he's been on for 31 31 months this guy's here's at 59 48 at 24 23 26 49 sold 24 25 here this guy here 31 12 he's
he just now raised his price but he had his price at 26 24 he may have sold when he was in this area i'm not too sure if he actually sold for 31 12. he's been on for seven months though so he's been on it for a while 27.99 sold 5 16 five months ten months this is potentially something i would test even though um price looks like it's going down if you look in the monthly time frame People were winning the buy box around 27, so I mean it moves 285 in the past 30 days. Potentially these people may so sell out and price could head up. But also there's also a possibility that you could possibly win the buy box at 27 or higher. It's not showing the data now because I can't read the future, but if you look into the past, people were winning it kind of higher. So this is something I potentially would test, but I wouldn't buy a lot until... I have a good idea of that I can get some sales at a higher price. But if I were to sell it, I would come in around 26 or 27. So I mean, if you came in at 26 or 27, the profit would be 282, which is actually kind of, it's decently good. I think, I think the best, but it's decently good. But if you sell it for 27 or try to sell it for 27, you'll make around like three, $3, almost $4. Um, let me see. There's a good bit of sellers on here. I'm going to add this to the list. And just make a note that I probably would need a test first. What's my buy cost? $14.90. I'm not counting tax for Walmart because getting tax exempt on Walmart is really easy i also have a video about it on my youtube channel if you don't know how to get tax exempt from walmart but um a quick guide on how to do it is you need to get a sales tax number for your state and get a resale certificate and then send it to walmart and you go through their little tax exempt portal Twenty-seven ninety-nine. Oh my god, I keep pressing the slash button. I'm trying to press enter, I keep pressing the slash button. So the profit is 391. Alright, so for seller notes, let's put um, test first. Alright, so for the seven notes, I have test first, have to list high for good profit numbers. Also, let's put five packs, so don't forget. Alright, next. We got another little supplement, probably from Costco. The buy box line is pretty good, it's moving. So it's giving, me, it's giving me an idea that it's getting rotated. I'm gonna check the buy box statistics anyways. 21, 15, 15, 14, 9, 8. Yeah, it's, it's decently spread out. Moves 360 in the past 30 days, that's pretty good. All right, so what's the lowest FBA price? 23.99, he only has one in stock. Next, the current buy box winner is 24.33, he has two. I'm gonna set the number to 24.48. And look for it for this is actually multiples so we're, we're coming in, in we're coming into summer now so sending in multiples i don't think you'll be able to do it i don't think amazon will accept it but um when winter comes around this may be something if it's profitable this may be something you can send in there's so much Yeah, I'm not going to go through all this. Um, I'm just going to pass on this one. I don't want to spend too much time on it. This one does not have a buy box. And it's an IP alert, I don't think. So all FBA offers are coming in at 22, 21 now. 2197. Let's just set it to 2197, the lowest price. 
So I have to get this for eleven twenty five to be profitable at Lego.com it is twelve ninety nine. But I think I actually have this on my list. Okay, I do not. It's it showed that I clicked the Lego link before. Available now twelve ninety nine. So it's twelve ninety nine. This is not including tax or shipping. If tax and shipping are included, this may not be free. So I'm gonna move on from this one. This one, the buy box line barely moves. Let's look at the statistics. So, I mean, nobody's really dominating the buy box. I guess everybody's coming at a pretty good. Not much people are trying to battle each other for the buy box because the line is in one spot. So, the current buy box winner now is 33.93. Let's go ahead and set the price to that and look for it. So I would have to sign in to see the price. I am not gonna do that. I don't even have a account with Costco anymore. Ricola, it's 1092. This is gonna be small and light. I'm gonna click that. Current buy box is uh, 1092, not 19. I don't know why I was about to say 19. I saw the nine. 1092. So we got to get three of these for under three dollars and nine cents. Swiss herb sugar free. Publix is 273. Walmart is. It's not even on Walmart. Two seventy three. I'm pretty sure you're going to be paying sales tax at Publix. Eight nineteen would be the buy, and that is not profitable. So we're going to move on from that one. All right, Doctor Teal. I don't think Doctor Teal is. Profitable. I'll look it up anyways. I looked at this before. This was not profitable. I think this is on the list, but I'm going to look for it anyways. There's a bundle, there might be some opportunity on this one. Some makeup, let's add a few more and then I'm gonna go ahead and look through them again. Some food, let's see how much time we have left. 15 minutes, all right. This is gonna be small and light. Let's go ahead and click that, 11.99. I would have to get this for 61 cents for this to work. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna look for that. Here, 2237 is the lowest. The person that's winning the buy box has 229,000 feedback. 60% buy box percentage of winning. 579, if you add those up, it's probably gonna be like 10. What actually? What's this? Is it a 24 ounce? It is 24 ounce. There might be some opportunity at Walmart. Let me copy and paste these.
copy this. Let's put that. Let's put what's the um, they have the uh, little thing at the top. This one is just flat. Sixty-eight. What size are they? Thirty-four. They're bigger, and it's sold by a third-party person, so I probably wouldn't buy that. Here it is. Here. All right, five eighty. Yeah, it's still gonna be expensive. If the other one is five eighty-seven too, it's gonna be like ten something. If you get a discount gift card for Walmart, you possibly could make this work. Forty th 42.39. People are winning the buy box high. I'm gonna go over it. It's 42, 42, 42.49. So, so far I've seen three different sellers on the buy box up to 40 something. All right, here's another seller. So there's four sellers that have won the buy box up to 40, 42. Um, let me see. Lowe's FBA offer now is 38.59. The current winner is not even an FBA seller. Let's see how much this thing has moved. So 347 in the past 30 days, that's pretty good. If you look at all the FBA sellers, it's pretty evenly spread out for the buy box, so nobody's really dominating it, except for this guy that's FBM, but he's not FBA. Um, let's see, 40. I would come in at 42. If I were to sell this, I would try to sell for 42 first before lowering it. 42.25. Okay, so I gotta get it for 23.79. Looks like it's just one, one big pack that has 24 packets. Yeah, 24 packets and one big. So I have three different sites. It is expensive at Walmart, so I'm not gonna even try to look for it here. This is not even the right flavor. What is this? Let me copy and paste this. And this Sam's Club. All right. Do not see it here. So I'm gonna get out of Sam's Club. Okay, here it is at Costco for $23.99. Getting Texas and back at Costco is pretty easy, but I don't think shipping is gonna be free. So let's see, I'm gonna just put $23.99. So $23.99 at Costco at $5.75, that's pretty good. Shipping. I think you gotta spend a certain amount to get free shipping at Costco. But, I mean, you could probably just walk into the store and get this. To save money on, or have a higher profit margin. But I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna get the $6 off if you walk into the store. I'm not too sure about that. Um, also, this is only on sale for for a period of time. I'm not gonna add this to the list because um, it's not profitable like just by itself. You need this discount for it to be profitable and this discount doesn't last forever. Six thirty-two. 
Looks like another Costco item. Lowe's FBA is thirty ninety nine. Only has one. The next guy has seventy nine. He's at, he's at the same price. You see the buy box moving around, so nobody's really dominating it. I'm gonna go ahead and check the statistics again. Actually, okay, I'm on, yeah, these guys are not FBA. They're all FBM. So let's see. I gotta get this for ten twenty one. Is it a one pack? It's a one pack that has six thirty two. Product not found. I guess we're moving on. Okay, twenty eight sixty five. This one has a lot of buy box movement. That's pretty good. People are winning it at thirty five. What is the lowest FPA? Twenty eight sixty five. Let's take a closer look. So okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over my cursor on the um, buy box line and see if the names change for the people who are winning it higher. So it'll give, me, it'll give me an idea that if a, if multiple people are winning the buy box around like a higher price, it'll give me the idea that potentially I could come in and maybe sell it at the higher price too. So here we have a seller that wanted at $34.99. The same, so here's a different seller that wanted at $35.59. A different seller that wanted at $36. Different seller that wanted at $34. Okay, these are all FBEM sellers. Okay, there's another seller here that won the buy box at 34. Different seller here at 33. Okay, um, here's another new seller here at 35. All right, so if I were to sell this, I would come in at 35. Or 35 or 37, one of those. Or maybe in the middle, like 36. Let's see, 35 here has 9 in stock, 1, 35, 0, 6. It's a pretty big jump from 35. If they if they sell out, it'll jump up to 38. Well, that's the next FBA price. I would probably come in at 30, 38. I'll match him. Let's see how many times this thing sold in the past 30 days. 395 that's pretty good buy box statistics the top winner is an fbm seller so that's pretty good so here's fba six percent four percent so no fba seller is actually dominating the buy box so that's pretty good okay let's take a look at these sales so these guys are fbm i'm not going to look at them here's the fba sellers here 2727 um he is actually new yeah, he's new. He just not came onto here. So I'm not going to trust that actually being 27 sales. This guy here, how long has he been on here? 34 days, 26 and 22. I'm pretty sure this, his sales might be actually mixed in with FC transfers, but I, he probably did sell probably around like 10 or something. Maybe 10. So I'm going to cut that in half. So he sold 10. 18, 18, this guy has been on it for a decent period of time. Almost a month. 18, 18, he probably sold probably like 5, 6 maybe. So that's 16. 16, 16, this guy's new. He's been on it for 6 days. I'm not going to even count his sales. 25 and 16 here. 44 days. He probably made around like 8 sales. So overall, I mean, some people are making sales. This is something you wouldn't go deep on. You probably would test it first. Or that's how I would approach this. Um, so we have our price at 38. So I got to get two of these for under $17. Is it shampoo and conditioner? Yeah, it is. 32 fluid ounces. KT Supply. I'm pretty sure I've seen that name on Amazon. KT Supply. Actually, let's check the listing now and see if he's on here. A 
Okay, never mind. He's not on here. I'm pretty sure I've seen that name before. But, I mean... Let's see. Here's the shampoo, 32. 758. Six seventy-three. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. So let's put these together. Seven fifty-eight plus six seventy-three. Fourteen thirty-one. This is actually pretty good. $7.85. I'm going to double check and make sure these are the exact same thing. So hold up one second. So the shampoo one. Okay. Originals. Zero thirty two fluid ounces. All right. That looks pretty good. Let's check the conditioner one. Thickening conditioner. 32 okay looks good to me um you would probably have to uh test buy from this supplier first because i'm not sure they're legit but i mean if they are legit the prices here are actually pretty good So I'm gonna I'm gonna add this to the list. Uh, let's put multi pack. So fourteen thirty one. This is not including tax. I'm pretty sure with tax, this thing might be around like 16 maybe. 15 or 16. I'll just put it in the, um, what do you call it? The seller notes. Sell price would be 38. Seven eighty-five. Test first, have to the list. Four. Let's put test supplier. What else did I say? Yeah, test supplier. And then let's put both of these links in the back. Oh, we got 30 seconds. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and stop this because that's going to be super loud. All right. Okay, let's not do this one because this one is 174. Yeah, I believe that this one is 4. See, 8, 883. Still not profitable. Okay, let's check this one out. A 12 pack. So there's 6 packets. I'm guessing this is a 2 pack that has 12. 6 packets boxes. Each 12 boxes. Oh, there's 12 of these boxes. So these things probably got to be like super small. Let's see. People are winning the buy box pretty high. Lowe's FPA is $37.99. So up to like $40. let us just start it at $37.99 and see. Nutrition. I actually bought from this place before. So you, you can actually trust, trust this site. Oh, this looks like it. All right, so five calories, net net weight, 
0.77. Five calories. There's a six right here on the go. The six is actually down here. This one says zero sugar. So it's just, okay, zero sugar. I think it could be orange. Yeah, the only difference is that the six packet on the go is down at the bottom here. I don't think any customers would complain about that. 10% off of our chocolate. Okay, so there's no discount code here. Usually when I buy here, there is a discount code, but I guess it's not one for here. 219, we gotta buy how much? 12 boxes. That actually might be profitable. There's no sales tax for this site because I have no idea how to do that. 26, 28, okay, never mind, that's not profitable. Uh, I'm gonna add this to the cart and see if a, it will give me a discount. Okay, you gotta get a subscription to get a discount. I swear to God, if it shows my information, okay, never mind, it didn't. All right, well, um, this is not profitable. Wait. Oh, actually, I, I got a discount. $2.62, so the buy cost is going to be $23.66. That's still, that's not including tax. Let me see. Okay, if you bought it at twenty three sixty six and sold it, so if you sold it for forty fifty, actually some people have been winning it at forty three ninety nine, forty one fifty here. Let me take a look. So so far two people, two different names. Okay, two different names have won it at forty one fifty. Let's see, forty three. There's one person. Is our uh, still the same person? Okay, one person has been winning at forty three ninety nine, so not a single other person has won it up there. But at forty forty one fifty, two different people have won it. Recently, now at forty ninety nine, here's a different person that won it at forty ninety nine. Okay, so the numbers only work well in the forty dollar range. So, how many times have this thing sold? So to 142 in the past 30 days, that's that's decent. This person here, 27%, won the buy box. Uh, he's FBM, so we don't have to worry about him. Here, 11% for FBA, seven, six. I mean, it's 11% isn't that much. It's not that much higher than seven to six percent. So it's overall, FBA is not. It's pretty good. So let's look at how well the sales are spread out. 41, 27, eight months, two months, 17, 17, he's new. Not gonna count his sales. 44, 16, I'm pretty sure his sales are legit. 28 months, he's been on it for a while. 43, 10 and 10, 24 days, 37. All right, overall, sales are pretty decent. I would potentially hop onto this. But I have to come in. I would have to come in at forty dollars. Um, let's see. I would come in higher, higher forties. I would say like forty-one fifty. So for forty-one fifty, you're actually gonna make five dollars and twelve cents. But this is not including tax. So tax might be like a dollar or two. So really, this is probably gonna be like three. Three dollars in profit. Uh, I will add this to the list. So, yeah. Okay.
for test first tax is not included and works only with discount code okay so uh, that's it for this video if you stuck all the way to the end and watched it to the end i appreciate you for watching the whole video and not skipping um if you're new here do me a favor hit that subscribe button and if you learn anything new hit that like button for me and i will see you in the next video